Guys, Hong Nguyen here for OG Fitness, a smart, sustainable, and functional approach to fitness and martial arts for older guys and busier guys. So today, I want to talk to you guys about how to pick a martial arts school or club. Um, so the first thing you have to do is to see if your instructor or the coach, right, is qualified. So what do I mean by qualified? Well. What has this coach done in the sport? How long has he been in the sport? Has he won any tournaments? Um, you know, and what's his level? What's his actual level? You know, and, and this is easier to figure out when you're dealing with Olympic sports, combat sports, like judo, wrestling, you know, like, because in these, in these combat sports, right, all these guys have to have a, a national coaching uh, certificate to even be able to teach. And there's different levels of these certificates. So already you have to have the first and the second one too. The first one, right? It's a national coaching program here up in Canada. You have to have that first one specific to your sport to be able to even be able to teach and to be able to open your, your, your club. You have to have that second um, certification, right? And this is like a national certification within your sport. And it's really serious because there's a federation behind it. And it's, uh, and a lot of these, uh, sports that have a federation, right? Are in the Olympics. So it's, it's, it's serious business. It's not just, um, you know, I studied in the mountains 20 years ago and, uh, in somewhere in China, and, uh, you know, I was alone in a cave and now I came out and now I'm going to teach you my secret shit, you know, and I'm opening my school. Uh, it's really hard to check that kind of shit, you know, like, uh, unless what? Unless you fucking fight the guy, right? That's the only way you'll know if he's legit. And, but what if you don't know anything? Then you're not going to go fight him because you don't know shit. So if he just knows how to give a jab, then he'll, he'll knock you out or whatever. So anyways, um, in, in, in judo, for example, okay, first thing I would do, so I'll, I'll use this example, but I know it's not going to be applicable to, uh, to all martial arts, but, you know, it'll, it'll give you some, some guidelines. So if you want to find a judo, uh, a judo club, okay, look at the, who's the instructor, okay? Has he achieved anything? If he has, good. Now, that's not the only thing that's important. What's even more important is, can this fucker teach, <laughs> right? And the third thing would be, are you comfortable with his teaching style, right? So the best way to go about it is to uh, try a class, okay? Or maybe not try a class. I would even maybe try a class or if, uh, if you're not comfortable or if you don't feel like trying a class, at least sit in on a class and see how he teaches. Pick the class that, you know, the busiest day. Tell him, okay, when's your busiest day? I'd like to pass by and, and, um, and look at the course or look how you give the course. Or don't say it like that. Just say, oh, you know, I want to pass by and check it out and, um, or try it, whatever, but try it on the, on a busy day. Okay. And then from there, like pay attention to how he teaches and do you like the way he teaches? Is he good at teaching? Because some guys who are very good athletes are, are very crappy teachers, you know? Now, what's fun with um, um, like these Olympic sports is that they, they have to pass a, certif a coaching certification. So they actually have um, training in how to teach. But even then, I mean, you know, some guys uh, get through it and, and they still suck, you know? Some people are more, um, better teachers than others. But anyway, so that's the, that's the main thing you have to look at. And after that, um, I think you have to look at, um, there's other factors you, you should look at. You should look at uh, the club's uh, values, um, how many people, how, 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 how do, how do you, all the other students, they, they engage with each other, you know, and, and stuff like that. But I mean, really, those are the two most important things I find is that you find someone that's one qualified, two knows how to fucking teach, and well, three you could add the third one is 
well, does this match your style? Um, are you comfortable with this learning, uh, with, with, with the teacher's teaching style? And also make sure that the club's values align with yours. Now, what do I mean by values? Well, quick, just, just touch on it quickly. I'm talking about, like in judo, I'll give you this example because I'm, I'm a judo dude. So you have, you know, judo has like values, you know, courage, honesty, uh, humility, respect, um, friendship, honor, stuff like that. And, and I, 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 I used to think it was kind of corny and shit, but the more I move forward in my, in my journey as a martial artist, the more I find these things are actually important. Um, so that's it for this video. I hope that helps you guys to uh, find a club that's, that's suited, you know, well suited for you, right? And um, yeah, that's it. So I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe below. Uh, click on the notification button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.